Hello everyone, Coflame here. Another video on how to install shaders. Today we are doing the TNP pack. It's This is for Minecraft 1.6.4. I'll share my display real quick. Display capture shared. And uh, it's for TNP Limitless 3. I'm going to go over really quick how to install shaders for this version of Minecraft. And oh my god, do they look amazing. Look at that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Um, so, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing you're going to need is Optifine, of course, right? So let's pull this up. Alright, so, um, this is the three things you need. You need the shaders, you need Optifine, and you need something to make it work. Uh, download Optifine is all I googled here. Optifine downloads, you're going to click that. And uh, right, there it is right there, 1.16.4. Just download it, and it'll go through all this. Um, don't click anything on this page. At the top right, wait on the second stick countdown, and then skip. It may ask you for your location. If it does, block it. It doesn't need to know your location. You don't have to allow that, so just don't even worry about it. And just hit download, and it'll download. Um, and you can close that out. It's just ads where they can make money. Next uh, is Optifine Mod Curse. This is what I googled. It's called OptiForge. So you can type I Google OptiForge, but I couldn't remember what it was called. So I just did Optifine Mod. Um, so what this does is makes Optifine talk to Forge better. So there's not any problems. This this should kill most of the crashes you might have. If you just drop Optifine in there by itself and it crashes, this should fix those problems. Um, it's going to ask you, like, of course, when you download jar files, if you want to keep it. I'll hit keep. Um, so let's get the OptiForge mod from CurseForge. Uh, make sure you get it from CurseForge. <coughs> Alright, so here's Optifine on the right side in recent files. Here's the 1.16. We're going to download that one. It's going to go to the curse page. You don't have to push anything at all. Just let it load up the, the ads. And of course, <laughs> anyway, so you want to keep that. So there we go. We have the one that make, we have Optifine, Optiforge, and now you need your shaders. Um, I have read online that Seuss is pretty much the only ones that's, that works right now for 1.16. I don't know. It works for me, so I use it. Um, so just click it, click the link. It's going to bring you here. Um, go to Downloads. It's going to jump you straight down to it. Renewed one is, is the one I'm using. So just hit Download. Let's come over here. I have read the EULA and hit Download. And it should automatically. There it is. And there's the zip file. Perfect. All right. So now we have these, these three. We're going to show folder and... I have other stuff that I've been downloading too. So here's the three the three that we need. It says one because I already have them downloaded here as well. Um, I'm also using Sortex. If you want to use a texture pack, um, Minecraft texture pack curse. I try to get everything from curse because I know Cur curse is going to have all the main stuff and it's not have, have any. It has ads, but it doesn't have like viruses and stuff like that. So, game version, we're on 1.16. And I can make sure I have mod support. There we go. And I am using Sortex. You know what? Let's go ahead and download Invictus. Let's see if Invictus is for 1.16. So, we're going to scroll down recent files, 1.16 it is. I'm going to go ahead and download that guy. I'll just leave it alone, it'll do its thing. Downloading now to pop up. It's downloading. Perfect. Now we're going to go to our curse launcher and we're going to right click it and we're going to go to open folder. Boom. To minim minimize it. Alright, so here in our open folder is our lim limitless stuff, right? So you need to create a folder called shader packs and you need to toss in your shaders here. Let's go ahead and kill this these because they did not work but the SUS definitely worked. So just so f from your download location, just take the SUS and just drop it in there, which I already have it, but it'll copy it in there since it's just a copy. I'm going to delete it. Um, and then go back 
and then you're going to go to resource packs and you'll drag and drop your the one you just downloaded I downloaded Invictus I'm, gonna I'm not going to drag and drop this one I'm going to drag and right click and paste it copy here because I want to keep that in my downloads in case I want to put it on another folder I don't know how to find this one you know and copy this one over anyway so we got that we have the shaders we have the texture packs now let's get our optifine done we need to go to the mods folder in here and just drop these two optifines into the mods folder if you look I already have both of them in there so that's perfect so once those two are done go ahead and load up your pack go back to launcher hit play let it load up it takes two and a half days to load of course even on a beast beast machine it still takes forever in a day and then go to minecraft um, I don't like to do this in game I'm not sure if it has an effect but I like to do it the main menu um, you can do it however you want to but I, I feel like if when I do it in game it it's kind of like it's slower which makes sense because like your computer's running all the game stuff and it's trying to change the shader who knows who knows I always do it outside of the game so but I'm um, you go to options with uh, Optifine installed you should be able to go to video settings and what the hell is that the skeleton just shot me um, <laughs> so options video settings and you should have a lot more options like animations and stuff like that and shaders um, I like to turn my dynamic lights on and just a quick it, it makes it makes it light up around you when you have a torch in your hand. That's really cool. That's worth going over. Um, so video settings and shaders, just click it and hit done. Uh, it's going to go through a, little sc a loading screen and stuff like that, and it would probably take a long time. Leave it alone. Uh, sometimes Minecraft does crash, and when I installed mine and turned them on, Minecraft crashed. And then when I loaded Minecraft back up, it had the shaders installed and it was working perfect. So if it crashes, load it back up, load into a world. You don't even have to load into a world. Just go to options and video settings and shaders. If it's selected, that means it worked. So don't, I usually try not to hit done because sometimes it goes through a loading process again. I just hit escape to get out. Um, but so that's the shaders, uh, the resource packs, of course. Let's take the Sortex off and we're going to put the Invictus on and hit done. Now that's not all we're going to do. We're going to go back to our folder that has our stuff in it. Open folder. Um, in previous versions of Minecraft, there's a few things that messed with the sky rendering that made it not work right, like a stationary sun and stuff like that. Or maybe everything was dark or something or see-through or something. If you have those kind of problems, the best bet to do is go into your config file and look for, I think, Astral Sorcery should should be the only one that's messed up. Go to your client, Astral Sorcery. Open it up right here. Sky Rendering Enabled. Just delete what's inside this brackets. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to make that mod unusable. If it does, make sure you remember, like what this says like you could take whatever it says in here like what, what if it said true it didn't say true it said something else but take whatever it says and like go to the next line and hit number sign and paste it in there so that you know what you need to put back in there when you want to do astral sorcery and you need that sky rendering enabled just in case that's a, a pretty smart thing to do so just uh, file save and uh, that's when you need to load the game up after you have changed this. So actually, we should have done this step before we loaded the game. So make sure you go in the Astral Sorcery and cut that off. And then load the game up. Then change your shaders. Then change your resource packs. It's going to take a long time. It's going to look like it froze up. It says it's not responding. It probably is. So just leave it alone for a while, and it'll probably work. All right, so there we go. Everything's loaded up. Resource packs. Um, this is a new resource pack. Invictus. Um, I'm not really sure why Gravel has two different options. Dedicate 10, 10 gigs to the, to Minecraft if you're going to do this. 
make sure you can dedicate 10 gigs of RAM to it. I'm going to show you real quick how to do that. Open up your Curse Launcher, go to the cogwheel at the bottom, Settings, go to Minecraft, down here on the bottom. Uh, it's going to have this. I have mine set on 9792. I mean, I can move it to whatever. I can get it closer to 10. Rod on 10 if it lets me, or 1080 or whatever it's going to be. But I have additional arguments. And you know what? I'll actually paste this into the description of this video so you'll have this. Um, I found this on Reddit. Uh, one of the uh, mod developers put this out. And uh, it, it runs better. And like I said, I'll put this on the description. But what what this does is, well, make sure you have... Uh, what am I doing here? I close it out. Make sure this right here, the 10, the 10 right here on these two spots, right here and right here, make sure it matches what you want to allocate. So if you want to allocate 10, 10 gigs, make sure you put 10G right here. And if you're running shaders and textures, I highly recommend doing 10 gigs. If you're just doing shaders, I would say 8 should be fine. But if you're doing textures too, make sure you get 10, just, just to be safe. Um, if you're playing the game and you see at the top right up here the memory is going up 71 72 75 whatever if when that drops from a high number see it went down to 65 right then if you're lagging put those arguments into the 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 curse launcher and it should fix that it should fix that problem it makes that minecraft handle handle the garbage collection and stuff a little bit better should get rid of that but that's pretty much all i have for now thanks guys for stopping by and like i said leave a comment if you have any like questions about other shader packs or texture packs or stuff like that or any general questions like i said i'm not an it guy i can't fix your computer problems make sure you have enough ram dedicated for this pack uh eight gigs for shaders 10 gigs for shaders and a resource pack i would say eight gigs for the pack itself too just to be safe you can probably get by with six, but I would just eight. Eight's the key. If you can't do eight, probably can't run this pack. I would not suggest it. But anyway, it's Callfang signing off. Thanks for stopping by. We we'll see you guys next time.